Hi again, I'm Stephen Wessner, CEO of Predictive ROI at Mount Rushmore, which is happens to be one of my most favorite places to visit. I've probably been here about 100 times. And the reason why we stopped by here today is I can't think of a more perfect place than to share a story or to share a lesson around vision. And so maybe you already know the story of Mount Rushmore and Guts and Borglum and the trials and tribulation that he went through. But this is a great example of saying no to the naysayers, actually remaining committed to the vision that you see in your head. When nobody else can see it, when the models break, when you start the carving and things don't go as according to plan. In fact, Gutson at one point had about a third of the mountain carved. You know, George Washington's face, I should probably should say about 25%. The original bust of George Washington wasn't coming, the, it wasn't mapping to the vision that Gutson had. And so what did they end up doing? They actually blew it off the face of the mountain. And so to kind of this point over here, you can sort of see the remnants of where the original Washington head had been sculpted and they started over. So can you imagine like taking yourself back into the studio of the artist himself and when that went wrong, you had all of these, he had all these models, these painstaking models, and then finally he had the opportunity to carve it on the mountain. And when he saw it up there, it didn't work. It didn't work, and so his, his plan, his, his only next step forward was to actually start over, blow the entire sculpture off the mountain and start forward and start again. And, and I think about like the demoralizing and, and what the depression or what the maybe second guessing must have been like. But yet he said no to the naysayers. He probably said no to the imposter syndrome and everything that he was feeling and instead started over. And now today we have this, because he said no to the naysayers. He remained committed to the vision. So you have a vision in your head about what you're trying to build in your business, remain committed to it. That's, that's what your goal should be. That's what your commitment should be in assembling all of the resources that you need, the right inner circle, the right determination in order to make this happen. The world deserves that from you. So when things are tough, and they will be, and maybe they are right now, remember the story of Gus and Borglum and how when things got really bad, he dug in and started over, and now we have this as a visual testament to what his vision was. I hope that that was helpful to you. I hope that helps you get through the next obstacles that you know are gonna come your way. If you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. And please click the little bell icon to the right so that you get a notification every Thursday morning when we air a new video. And give me your comments, give me your questions, concerns, feedback below, because your comments, that's how, your feedback, that's how we get better each and every week. Until next week, double down and onward with gusto.